Hi there, welcome back to Silver Lining Art. My name is Anish and this video is all about my love for indoor rock climbing. So without further ado, let's get to the painting. Indoor rock climbing is a sport that I'm obsessed with. I got introduced to it maybe a little over two years ago and it challenged me mentally and physically very different, uh, in a very different way than uh, other aspects of my life. At that time, I was doing research um, in grad school and I was training for an ultra marathon, two things that have very delayed gratification and climbing was the exact opposite where if I worked hard for a rather short amount of time, it was something I could improve on quickly and get relatively quick gratification once I put in the hard work. So the way indoor rock climbing works is that you have professional climbers and route setters that uh, create these artificial uh, routes, um, and but they're, they're made in a way that they mimic natural rocks or movements on natural rock. And uh, since they are set by professionals, they are graded, so they can. Uh, they, it's basically a grading system which tells you how easy or hard a climb is. Uh, the hardest climb, uh, top rope climb that I ever did was a 511 grade and it had very similar holes to what I'm painting right now. And the uh, these holes, they're called pinches. So essentially, instead of hanging off of a hold, it is uh, something that you have to squeeze in between your thumb and your fingers. Uh, and then you have to pull yourself up with it and that requires a lot more power. It was something that I wasn't used to doing. And when I first started climbing, this was a hole that I wasn't that good at. And then there was this one 511 grade problem, the hardest top rope problem I've ever done. And I remember uh, spending two weeks, solid two weeks with my, uh, with my friend Abdul. And we just kept trying to climb it, kept falling, and we kept at it. And two weeks later, we were able to climb that that top road problem and through that uh, i think I, I had ended up training my pinch so much that by the uh, by the time the pandemic hit and i stopped climbing pinches was one of my strongest uh, hold i could hang off of uh, these uh, really easily and something that i really enjoy doing and that is something that is uh, i think really great about climbing is that it gives you this instant gratification but also it's something that you have to put work into so once you put work into it uh, you will get the reward it is something at least at the beginning you can progress quite quickly i was climbing for maybe a year and a half and i was i was doing v6 boulder problem and then hard 510s uh, 10 top row problems from essentially having never climbed so um uh, I do miss, I do miss climbing a lot, um, considering it's a sp the sport relies on you touching the same things that other people are touching. It's of, of course um, not a good idea to, uh, to have climbing gyms open during a pandemic. Um, and as much as I miss the act of climbing and the sport, I really miss the climbing community. If you are a climber or if you know climbers, you know that it's a, this is a really good community and it's uh, it's people who are really nice and filled with a lot of pos positivity and, and, it's, and it's surprisingly universal. I've been to competitions, uh, climbing competitions, where everyone is just cheering each other on, competitors instead of competing, want uh, their op opponents and, and their friends who are also climbing to do well uh, each of us is trying to do our best and push others to do theirs. Um, and the environment is so welcoming and friendly. Um, I do miss spending my evenings in climbing gyms. The one I used to go to in Buffalo had happy hours, where after climbing you could go and have a beer uh, with people you just met uh, in, during your session today. And um, it, it's something I miss a lot. And, and that's why I think this painting is so important for me. Um, it's um, it's this strong pinch uh, and 
the hand that is like a little bruised up maybe has a bunch of chalk on it so you'll see me put i uh, use gouache right now uh, to put some chalk <laughs> on the hand on the fingers because uh, if you're a climber you know you've spent time figuring out the optimum amount of chalk that you want on your hands and that's a, usually it's more than what you think you need <laughs> i really can't wait to get back into indoor climbing but until then i hope you all take care of yourself stay inside and stay safe hey there hope you liked the video do let me know what you miss the most uh, during this pandemic in the comment section down below and if you really enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss uh, any of the video uploads. See you next time.